Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to send email on SSIS package failure. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can send the email if the SSIS package fails. So let's jump to the demo. I got this blank SSIS package and I want that if any of the task in the SSIS package fails then an email should be sent to the respected persons that the SSIS package has been failed and the error description should be sent in the email so that users can know that what kind of error has been occurred in the SSIS package. So let me just drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window and maybe I can call the execute SQL task as update data and then I can make a connection to the SQL database. I can click on new connection. I already have a connection to the work database so I will select this connection and I can click OK. Now in the SQL statement, I just want to intentionally fail the SSIS package. So what I will do, I will write select 1 divided by 0. So it will throw divided by 0 error. Okay. So I can click OK. OK. Now if I will try to execute the SSIS package, so the SSIS package will fail because it's a divided by 0 error. And for example, if you go to the progress, so you can see that this is the error select 1 by 0 failed with the following error divided by 0 and countered. So this is the error message. Okay. Now I want that if the SSIS package fails on any of the tasks, then an email should be sent to the respected people that the package has been failed and this is the error message and the actual error message should be sent in the email itself. Okay. So to do that, what you can do, you can click on the event handlers and on the left side under the executable, you can make sure that the your SSIS package is selected and on the event handlers on error event should be selected. Now you can click on this link, click here to create an on error event handler. And now there are two options to send the email. Either you can send the email using the send mail task, this one, or you can send the email using the script task. So both options are available. To send the email using the send mail task, you need the SMTP server address. So for example, if you are working in a company, then your IT team can give you the SMTP server address and that is the easiest way to send the email okay i have already created a video on like how to send email using send mail task send email task in ssis yeah this is send mail task in ssis so you can watch this video like how you can configure the send mail task to send the emails in ssis package so i have shown you all the steps here so if you want to check you can see this particular video as well but in this particular video i will show you if you don't have the smtp server then how you can send the emails okay we can right click on the script task and click on edit and under read only variables we need to select the error description variable this is a system variable that we will be using okay and now i can simply copy the error description variable from here and i can click on edit script I am just copying it because I need to use the error description SSIS variable inside the script task. Now the script editor will be opened up and we can write our code there. So the script editor has been opened up and I can just simply paste the variable name here system error description. Now I have already written the code to send the email. This code I have already shared in one of the video how to send email in SSIS. You can download the code from there. And I will also share the latest code with you. So you can download it from the link in the description of the video. Maybe I can copy it from this location to this one. smtv.sendmail and I can paste the code here. Okay. So this is the complete code. It is saying that some namespace is missing. So I can click on show potential fixes and I can add this one using system.net.mail. Okay so the errors are gone and there is one more error so i can add system.net namespace as well so all the errors are gone now what we are doing here that we are sending the email from this particular email address skumar84700 at gmail.com okay and we are sending the email to this email address akil33 at gmail.com okay and this is the password for the first email okay and uh, this is the smtp server address and uh, this is the subject of the email and this is the message body of the email okay so before uh, configuring this particular code what you need to do you need to enable the less secure app for this particular email address so you can log into this particular e email address and then what you need to do 
you need to go to this location and enable the less secure app okay I have already enabled this one allow less secure app on but if this is off then you can just set it to on okay so as of now this is on however it was off and I just set it to on okay so this is the thing that you need to make sure and now you can go back to the code and I need to make some changes here in the subject body I want to change it that as test SSIS package got failed I want to set the subject like this and in the message body instead of like this is to notify that the package got completed successfully what I want to do I want to send the actual error message okay so I can just remove this one and I can write DTS dot variables and now I need to provide the system variable error description here so I can copy the error description here I can paste it here okay dot value dot to string so now this will send you the actual error description in the message body of the email okay so this is the thing that you just, you just need to configure and that's it now I can just close this one exit and I can click on OK now I can go back to the control flow and if I try to execute the SSIS package now so the package will fail but it will send an email that the package got failed and it will send you the actual error description like divided by zero error so if you see that the package got failed but if you check the event handlers so you can see that the script task got completed successfully and if I check the email now so I got actually two emails that critical security alert for because less secure app has been enabled so that's why it is sent an email to me and this is the actual email from the SSIS package that test SSIS package got failed and in the error description you can find the actual error message that executing the query select 1 by 0 divide by 0 error encountered so this is how you can just configure your SSIS package to send the email if the SSIS package got failed okay so this is using the gmail okay C sharp but in case if you want to do it using the send mail task then what you can do let me just show you it won't work for me as of now because I don't have the SMTP server configured here because I'm working from a, my personal laptop and I don't have the SMTP server but let me show you how you can do easily in your SSIS package in your company that you can just drag and drop the send mail task here and now you can just need to configure it so in the email you can just need to create a new connection and need to provide the SMTP server address here like uh, my SMTP server dot com something like this you can click ok now under from you need to type the email from where you want to send the email like from email address at the rate smtp com something like this and similarly you need to type your two address like you want to send the email to my email address ok and under subject you can write like load file package got failed ok something like this and now how you can send the error description to do that you need to click on the expressions and then you can click here now there is an option message source so under message source you need to drag and drop the error description okay so you can just drag and drop error description here click ok ok so you can click on ok so you have configured your send mail task successfully and if the SMTP server address is correct okay so if this address is correct then the package will run fine and you will get the failure emails from the sandwell task so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much